All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching the World's Finest Assassin episode five. I do know how to even say four to start this episode, but as always guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go right into this episode right now. Oh, it's another person that's been reincarnated. She looks different this time. Oh, is this guy from a different kind of time then? Let's see what this guy turns out into to be into then. Someone like this surely has kind of had to put some work in. Did he die? <laughs> oh my god. Are they still the same age now or are they now like 13? Imagine living in a nation like this where the noble it helps people. Crazy. And he knows everyone too. Like, it takes time to remember their names and stuff. Someone made a point in a video I watched yesterday that it's quite refreshing to see someone who was cool before they died and cool when they've been reincarnated in an isekai. And that's very true. Yeah, as there usually is. This is very, clearly a very different place. <laughs> Thank you for Tomato. This guy is very good at manipulation. Oh wow, jeez. Okay. That's crazy, bro. God, they must be worth a lot. Yeah, you could literally just use them as little bombs. Or big bombs. What is he talking about here? Oh, hell no. Surely not, no. God, this dude is good. Oh, yeah, I'm really glad you didn't have to kill her too. I really do think it was just coincidence. Literally just coincidence, honestly. Yeah. Unless I'm overlooking someone here, I do believe it was just a miracle. Oh my god, that's crazy. At such a, his such a young age. So he said, whether it win, whether he wins or loses, it doesn't matter. You just got to prove yourself. His dad may be like a kind of master assassin, but he has been born into this world with years and years of assassin experience and chosen kind of magical abilities. But on the downside, he's a child. And his dad has a lot more strength. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Why? How is he leading you around? How is he... How does he have the advantage here? Ooh. Very, very cool. This, they're, both, they're both very perceptive. Yeah, it's probably just because he's your father, because you have so much more experience, technically. Oh my god. Oh shit, good job. Did... Oh! Did you get stabbed though, Lou? Oh, shit, yeah, good shit, bro. Oh no, he's still 12, got it. Well, you were probably to date. I think as an assassin, you should be able to use whatever tools that you've got, though. If you're great with magic, then use it. Find what you need to become stronger, aka a team of girls. Hell yes. <laughs> this dude's getting assassinated. 100%. See you later, chief. Has he changed his hair colour? <laughs> it's bring your son to work day. Hell yeah. Oh wow, that's smart. Having like poison drip down some string. Ah, yeah, okay. Make it sloppy, make it look like bandits did it. Is this someone that they have to assassinate? 
Ah, okay. Got it. Um, thinking about people that aren't even your targets yet, just in case they are your targets in the future. That's wild. I mean, you'd be a good one. Oh. Does he tell him to start a trading company as like a cover-up? Wow, that's insane. They really go in depth with this kind of stuff in this show. It's really cool. That's kind of crazy. You're getting some different job experience. Is Tart coming with? He's exceptionally talented. Who's this dude? Oh no, a strange cousin B. What does he want? Then you must fight. <laughs> Prove your strength. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you're an assassin in this kind of line of business, you should have been uh, expecting that. Exactly. This ain't noble shit, you know? One, two, three, ready to fight. You already lost, bro. He's literally a, like a master assassin. And this guy got himself tipsy before, you know, going into doing this. Like, I like the, the, this approach that they're going with these two. I'd have thought this guy would become like uh, an antagonist because he was beaten by, you know, his family. Oh, interesting. Oh, look at this cool ass sword. God, this dude's smart. He's not letting any kind of loose ends like this get away. That's real smart of him. Yeah, we are not leaving your first kind of first waifu at home, bro. Come on. I'm still going to call him Lou. Alright, so that was the World's Finest Assassin episode 5. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that episode. It was nice to see that Lou's finally become a kind of fully-fledged assassin and then obviously he got to kind of, you know, do some work experience, in a sense, uh, along with his father. It's pretty cool to see. Uh, obviously, he well and truly surpassed his father, in a sense, um, and he will continue to do so as he grows older. It's interesting to see now uh, the kind of... Uh, how they're not just playing into the sense that he you know, just has these cover-up identities and stuff like that as an assassin. It's nice to see that he has, like, little training arcs, not as an assassin, but within these identities to properly pr to properly hone them, um, if that makes sense. Uh, and then, obviously, the bit at the end there, obviously, where he's the, got, a, you know, a family member who doesn't believe that he should be the head of the house, um, kind of proved his strength against him in a dignified way. And then, instead of letting that kind of grudge grow, uh, if it, you know, as it does a lot in shows like this um he kind of you know tends to it straight away in a kind of dignified manner having that person kind of be there to serve him instead of letting the grudge grow and him becoming you know an antagonist or something down, further down the line i'm really enjoying the kind of the way the story's plotting everything out it's like lou is the one that's really thinking about every little thing that's happening in the story and not letting anything go on on, on dealt with, I should say. Um, it, it's really cool, and I'm definitely enjoying the story so far. The the plot, it, while it is kind of you know the sort of regular isekai plots, uh, they are doing, they are making their very own spin on things, which I am really, really enjoying. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say, and that is that. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.